Hello everyone, this is Stephanie. Welcome to another video. So today we're going to work on the rose window earrings, which goes with the bracelet and the pendant. So I'll give you a look. I know I have a lot out right here, um, but here is the bracelet, here is the pendant, and where's my earring? Here it is. So here would be the earring, and I think it's great. I think you can make an earring out of one of the the um, components here if you like, um, but I kind of like a little bit of a smaller earring, so I made this earring, and I'm going to put these aside. And what's cool about it is that you can do it with the drop, without the drop, and you can actually wear it this way if you want. So it looks good coming and going. If you put a, you know, uh, a wire guard around here, and that what you know you could change it, change it up like the way I did it. I have to wear it this way because I have it the ear wire is actually sewn in, but if you put a wire guard on or a jump ring, you can change the way you wear it. So you can wear it this way or this way. So cool, huh? Or you can not put the drop on, which I love it without the drop. I think it's so pretty. I love it both ways. And I'm experimenting with adding a little 8mm um, chiton here and making a bracelet. So that might be coming up. I'm in the design process, so it'll be very dimensional, but I think it could make a really beautiful bracelet if you you know, have a bunch of, I think you probably need six or seven chitons, and that would be a cool bracelet. So that, that may be coming up soon. I was having hot chocolate with a little schnapps the other day <laughs> and made me think of candy canes. How cool is that? So very um, holiday-ish. And here you go. You can change the colors on the back. And here is the this bracelet and this earring together. So a lot of fun. This is so easy. I'm making this for everybody on my holiday list because one, two, three, done and um, a very nice gift and you don't have to worry about size. They actually, speaking of size, they are about from top to without the drop, about an inch or, you know, 25 millimeters, something like that. And the drop adds another half inch. All right, so I'm going to clear this off, get a materials list going, and I'm going to get started. Don't forget to hit that like button, and please subscribe to my channel if, enjoy, if you enjoy my videos. I'd appreciate that. All right, see you in a minute. Let's get a materials list going. So you need some super duos, and you only need, you need, I'm using two colors, so you need four of one color and four of the other per earring. So eight of each color per earring. Or you can use just one color. So this is one I made just using one color of Super Duo. So look how pretty. I mean, really choose what you like and what you have and use it because you don't need many of them. All right, you'll need um, a little drop here. This is about a 10 millimeter drop. It really doesn't matter what size, whatever looks pretty at the end. It could be smaller, it could be a little bit bigger, it could be a charm. I'm just using this little crystal drop. You need some 11 O seed beads and 15 O seed beads, and I'm using that um, champagne Duracoat um, galvanized champagne. I love this color. You need a few bicones, just for uh, eight, so four per earring, and that is going to go right here in the back. You'll need a couple of ear wires. I'm using lever backs on this one, on these. A stop bead, size 10 beading needle, eight pound fire line. I'm using black satin. You might need a size 12 beading needle towards the end, um, so have one of those handy. Don't forget my Ringberries mat, the big mat that I use, 10% off Bronze Pony 10 code, so if you go to Ringberries on you know, Etsy, I have the link down below, and type in Bronze Pony um, 10, you'll get a 10% off, why not? And then here's the No More Oops Bee Trade, this is the mini, so cute. I'll have a link to um, the shop, the Etsy shop as well in the description box below the video, as well as all sizes, colors, shapes, amounts of beads that I've used, any other info that I might have, anything I might need to add, etc. Okay, so I'm going to kill this off and we're going to get started. Okay, let's get started. So we're going to make the mate to this one. So thread your needle with about three feet of thread, put a stop bead on, and leave about a 12 to 14 inch tail. We're going to use that tail. So I'm going to pick up a Super Duo. So that's my first color. I'm starting from the inside. 11 0 Super Duo. 11 0 Super Duo. 11 0 Super Duo. 11 0 So I've on four Super Duos and four 11 0s in between. So I'm starting with a Super Duo, ending with an 11 0 and I'm going to sew those into a circle by sewing up through that first Super Duo after 
the stop bead and then I'm just going to go all the way around and I'm going to reinforce it and come past where my tail thread is and stop bead is. So just moving around the unit. Don't worry about if it's loose, it'll be fine. So here, and I'm going to pull it together just like that. Move my stop bead a little bit so you can see where I'm at. So I'm just exiting the bottom hole of a Super Duo. It doesn't matter which one, just pass your stop bead and your um, tail thread. All right, so just get that done and come on back and we'll continue. Okay. So I'm exiting the bottom hole of one of my um, sort of burgundy color Super Duos or Bordeaux. I'm just going to slip through the top hole of that same Super Duo, just like that. I'm going to pick up, let me put this over here, an 11 -0 my other color Super Duo and an 11 -o. So I have an 11 -o, Super Duo 11 -o. Just going to sew through the top hole from this top hole to the top hole of the next one. Like that. Here I'll pull in a little bit more. I'm going to do that again. So I'm just going to move my stop bead out of the way. There we go. 11 -o. My other color Super Duo 11 -o through the top hole of the next Bordeaux colored one. Okay, so you're just going to do that all the way around. 11-0, green one, 11-0, through the top hole of the next Super Duo. One more time. 11-0, Super Duo, 11-0, now I'm going to go through the top hole of this Bordeaux Super Duo and I'm going to continue on through the 11 -0, the green Super Duo. So just attaching 11 -0, Bordeaux, top of Bordeaux, the 11 -0, and then the bottom of the next green one. I just want to reinforce it a little bit to make sure it's staying nice and, and secure. But don't worry, we'll be going through these beads a lot, so don't go crazy reinforcing. All right, so this is where I want you to be. We're just exiting the bottom hole of this of a green super duo, whichever one you know you come out of. It doesn't really matter. All right, so get that done. Come on back, and we'll continue. We're back. This is what I have so far. I'm exiting a the bottom hole of a green super duo. Now, what I want you to do at this point is give it a pull, like nice and tight, and the interior bead should pop up a little bit, so you have this sort of domed effect and that should happen. If you need to go around a little bit more you can like coming out of this one. I just don't want you to fill those super duos up with too much thread because we're going to be using them again a couple of times. So just if you pull it it should be okay and don't like I said don't reinforce too much. <laughs> All right before we continue on this side I've taken off my stop bead and I've threaded a needle and I just want to move this thread which right now is coming out of this super duo right here. It's coming out of the bottom hole of this super duo. I want to move it so it's coming out of one of these, the um, this green one. It doesn't matter which one, but you have to move it in a way that is going to be. I'm going to I'm going to use this one, which is going. You're going to follow the thread path. So I'm exiting. You can see this right here, and don't worry about it if it's a little tough to get in. Just bend the beads. So I'm going to I'm. I'm I'm coming out of the bottom hole of this Bordeaux one. I'm just going to go through the top hole like that and then on through the the 11 -0 and then that green one. So I've just moved my thread from in there to here. That's the interior thread. I'm just going to let that thread go. All right, so I'm just going to let you get to that point because you might have to, you know, dig around a little bit to get in there. So get that done and come back and we'll continue. Okay, back. So the reason I did that is because I want to set us, um, this is this is where we're going to put the 15 hose on, and I want I just wanted the thread there. I didn't want it to get all you know lost down in there. So now you're set up to put on those interior beads. But before we do that, we're going to switch to the front again. So here, here's my my front thread. This thread is coming out of the bottom hole of a green super duo, just like that. I'm going to pick up. So we're going to do a little embellishing now. We're going to do the seed beads all around it. So we're going to pick up one 11 and I'm going to sew through 
the top hole of the, the super duo I'm exiting. We'll get to that back thread after we're done embellishing. I'm going to pick up another 11 out. I'm going to sew through the bottom hole of that same super duo. And I'm just going to advance through this one, through this 11 0, and I'm going to pick up four 11 0's. And I'm, I'm exiting here. I'm going to sew through this one to put those beads on, back through the bottom hole of the Super Duo, and through the 11 0 right after that. See that? Just like that. So now I've embellished that super duo. And then I'm going to pick up three 11 O's. I'm exiting the 11 O after that super duo. I'm just going to sew through the 11 O and the, soup, the, next, the next 11 O over this Bordeaux one through the, green, the bottom hole of the green super duo, just like that, to put that on. All right, so I'm just going to let you get to that point and then come on back and we'll okay. continue back. So let's continue around the next this green super duo. So I'm, I've surrounded this super duo. I went around this little Bordeaux one, and I've exited the bottom hole of this green one. I'm going to pick up an 11 out, sew through the top hole, pick up another 11 out, sew back through the bottom hole, the same super duo. So setting up to put the beads around it. Just advance through the next 11 0. Pick up four of your 11 0's. So through this one. So the, the 11 0 on the other side. Back through the Super Duo and up through that 11 0 right after the bottom hole of the Super Duo. Give that a nice little pull. I'm going to pick up three 11 O's. Exiting this 11 O. Just going to sew through this one and the next green super duo. Like that. I'm going to do the exact same thing we just did. 11 O. Through the top hole of that green one. 11 O. Sew through the bottom hole. Just the super duo. Advance your needle up through this 11 0. Pick up four 11 0's. Down through this one, so the 11 0 on the other side. Through the Super Duo and the 11 0 on the other side of that Super Duo, right there. Like that. Three 11 O's exiting here. So through this one, the next 11 O, and the next, the bottom hole, of course, of the next super, super duo, just the super duo. Put those on. Okay, just straighten everybody out. That's what it looks like. So you can do that one more time. So meet me sort of at the end here and we'll connect them. I figured I'd just go ahead and do the next one with you anyway. So here, exiting here, putting this one on. 11 O. Through this, uh, the bottom hole of that super duo. Advance your needle through this 11 0. Pick up four of your 11 0's. Back down through this guy. Through the super duo and the 11 0 on the other side of the super duo. Give it a little pull. Three 11 O's. Okay. So we're gonna we're exiting here. We're gonna sew through the 11 O on the other side and the super duo. So this super duo that's already done. That was our original one we started with. And now everybody is on and embellished. Doesn't look great. And then all you want to do, if you want to use this thread to put on your ear wire or your drop, let's say, then. I'm exiting the Super Duo right here on the bottom. I'm just going to sew up through these three. Make me put the drop on. Um, 
and I'm just going to be right here so here I can put either an ear wire or a drop. But I'm just going to let you get to this point and then we're going to do the other side. All right, see in a few. Okay, we're back. So I've turned my piece over. So this is the back and this is where we had moved. Remember we moved that thread to come out of the bottom hole of this green super duo. So this super duo right here, whatever color yours is. So if you can see it's coming out and my thread is coming right there. Just made it easier to set it up. Now I see, so this is like, this was the original earring, but it's, it's like a little too floppy. So in order to, to get it nice and strong and have a little more substance, we're going to pick up seven 15 O's. Like that. Exiting the bottom hole of this green one, I'm just going to sew through the bottom hole of the next green one. Just the bottom hole. I'm not going through any 11 O's. And I'm going to pop that in. So it's just going to go on like that and do that again. Exiting here, just going to hop over to the next one. So through. Making sure that all the beads go in the front. So you're just going to do that two more times, and then come on back and we'll continue. I'm on my last group of seven. So I'm exiting this super duo. I'm going to sew through the bottom hole of the next one. So that's where we started. Okay, so get that sewn through. So you just might have to push the 15 O's out of the way. So now I have my last 15 o, uh, um, group of 15 O's on. So I'm exiting this super duo, the bottom hole of the screen one. I'm just going to sew up through the first four of the 15 O's I put on. One, two, three. Come on, you. Four. There we go. <laughs> so that's going to set me up to add my bicons on. So I'm just going to let you get to that point, and then we'll continue. So I am exiting that number four bead of that first group of 15 O's. I'm just going to pick up a three millimeter bicon. So now here, if you if you don't have a three millimeter bicon, do a three two by three millimeter rondelle. You can try two 11 O's, um, whatever will fit and pull it, sort of pull it together a little bit. So here, I'm, I'm using the bicone, three millimeter bicone, so I'm going to count four on this one. So I'm going to come through the fourth 15 O, the next group of 15 O's. I do that again, pick up a bicone, go through number four bead of the next group of 15 O's, one, two, three. Four. Like that. See how it's starting to pull it in? Okay, you're gonna do that two more times. And then come on back and we'll continue. Coming down to my fourth, um, my last bicone. So the last bicone, of course, it's gonna go through that original number four bead that you started with. So see the same one that this one is coming out of. So here. Like that. And now I'm gonna reinforce everything I just put on. So the Bicone 15 0. So just keep going around until it feels snug. Like that. So I'll just let you do that. I'll do it off camera. I'll let you do that and then come on back and we'll continue. Okay, we're back. So here is uh, the back of our earring. And I'm just going to leave this thread because I'm going to use it to put the ear wire on. And here is the front. Remember, we we moved our thread so it's exiting these three seed beads around um, a super duo. So the only the, the only thing you're going to do here is so simple. You can do it any way you like. I just took one 11 -0, my drop, and an 11 -0, again after the drop. Then I skipped the drop, went through the drop and the 11 0 after the drop. You can make this as intricate as you like. So this is this is how it's exiting here. I'll pull out a little bit. So you see where the thread is coming out? So it's, it went, come, went from here down, back up, through this again, and then back through three over here. Like that. You pull yours tight, see? So it just puts it on a very, very simply. You can, like I said, you can do it as complicated as you like. And then I'm going to go through the 
Super Duo, and I'm going to pull. And then all you want to do from at this point is you can reinforce, go through it all again, and then you're going to just sew around a bit until you just get to a place where you can tie a couple of half hitch knots, and then you're done with this with the drop. So get that done and then come on back and we'll put on the ear wire. Okay, we're back. So now we're going to put on the ear wire. So I'm going to put it on separately. If you want, you have your thread here. You can just sort of weave your thread around until you come out of the same place I'm going to come out of um, when putting on the ear wire, just like you did with the the drop, you would come out of the same place. But I'm just thinking that, you know, if you're going to give these for gifts and such, you want to make sure that they're going to be really strong. So I've just threaded my needle with, you know, a little bit of thread, a foot or so. I'm just going to sew through the bottom hole of that green Super Duo, leaving enough of a tail to sew in. And I'm going to sew up through the three on the side, like that. Now I'm going to pick up an 11-0, my ear wire. Now these have the open loop. I really kind of prefer the closed loop, but um, I mean these will work fine. And then another 11-0, and we'll, play, we'll get it into position in a second. So exiting that 11-0, I'm just going to go down the three on the other side. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to position this so that that ring is right in between the two seed beads. So you see it's not hanging here where it's holding the thread. It's right in between and I'm going to pull. I'm going to hold it with my finger and pull. And I'm going to make sure that when I reinforce this that it is staying there. So back through the Super Duo. Like that. Up through the beads on the other side, across through these three, making sure that that ring is jammed right in there. And then down on the other side, like that. And I'm pulling super tight to make sure that it's going to stay in there. See, when I pull, it's not going to come out. So you want to make sure, and then you're just going to go around and reinforce, and you're going to sew the other thread in. Now, if you want to want these to be reversible, then you will have to put either some, a, a, I think a wire guardian would work fine here, and that way you can take the hook off. Mine, I'm going to be wearing this way, so I'm fine with it um, this way, but if you really want to reverse them, you can actually, you know, put something on, uh, a ring on so that, or a wire guardian so that you can take the ear wire off. There you go. There's our earring. Let's put it with this one. Just make sure you make it nice and tight like this one. I'm going to have to redo because it's not as tight as I would like. Um, but I like to show you when I make a mistake or when I don't do something as, as well as I should so that if you happen to come across that, you know, you know that it's not just you and that you can fix it easily. All right, so here we go. Here are our earrings. Here's our necklace. I'll pop these out as well just to fill up the page <laughs> or the, um, the mat here a little bit. So here's the other one and here's the other necklace. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you have fun making these. I mean, I think these are such great little gifts and so easy to do. Once you get going, like one, you know, it's so easy it, and it, it, happen, it, it just goes so fast. So here's the, whole, the full set. Here's the other one. Um, I want to thank you again for joining me and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.